Hey there, everyone. I just want to do a quick video. It seems like a lot of people struggle when the market isn't moving in a nice trending move. And, you know, let's be honest, that's most days the market's not moving in a strong trending move. So we have to know what to do in that type of environment if we plan on trading. You can obviously decide to just trade on trending days, and that's fine. But most of us are needing a little bit more than that. So I'm going to just remind you of a couple things that you may have forgotten, and hopefully you'll find it helpful. So you can see my, sign, my little notation here on my screen says, look to the left. And that's what we need to remember to do. Generally, whatever happened when we look to the left, the last time price was in this whatever area you're looking at, that's generally what you can expect um, next time around, even if it's just a hesitation in that area before it breaks through. So let me just give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So this is yesterday, Monday the 21st on NQ, and this is a one minute chart. I'm not going to go over the setup. Um, most of you are familiar with the setups. Um, if not, um, you can always send me an email if you want more information on those. But here's our open right here at 930, right here. And i um, not interested in taking a setup right off the open, but um, you can see here when it's breaking the super trend, this isn't telling us to take the long, so um, that's a pass anyway, but that's a little too early for me. Here we get a short. This is around um, 9.35. And so if we take that short um, under the super trend here, the entry would be around 15, 79.15. And so if we want to have an idea of what to expect, um, possibly when we're taking that trade we just look to the left and see where price was reacting or if you've got the volume profile on your chart which I do it's not showing up over here because it's all the way to the right side here and um, but I'll show you on a 15 minute and a five minute here in a second but you could see if we take this at 15 we'd just be aware where it hung up here at our fair value area high just um, right off the open and then if we look a little further left, you can see this area on our um, pre-market area here. It looks like around 8 o'clock or so. So what you could do is just draw a quick line in the areas that are holding as support and resistance. And just to get an idea of where it last hesitated, and that would be the area where you would expect it to react. First, um, the 12 and a quarter area, and then the 9 area. And... You know, if you decide that that's enough room to attempt the trade, then you take it. Next one here that we get, um, the buy here. Um, this was borderline um, valid. So if you take the buy, you're going to look to the left here and see where price was reacting and decide if it's worth it or not. Sometimes off the open, I'll give it just um, a little bit to pick a direction or to decide if it's just going to go sideways and then I can take my entry. But if I was going to take this entry above here, it looks like it would be around um, 22. And then you have this general area here where it was holding. So what I would look at is I would look at this general area here at like 20, let's just say 23. And then we've got the high of the day right above us at the 2550 area. So because at that point, we don't know if it's going to bust through that high of the day or not yet. So um, taking that at 22 um, area, we have to decide if it's worth the risk with this um, area here that was holding at the 22, um, let's just say 23 area. And then if you are willing to attempt it and it can get through, then you're looking at the next area. And then you can see it does get through the high of the day here. And that's where we're looking at a 15 minute chart and um, putting your support resistance areas um, on there for future reference can be really helpful just so you always have an idea of where the major support resistance areas are. When I'm looking at this on um, a one minute or a five minute, these are just um, areas that I'll mark intraday. And as price is creating new areas, then I'll move my um, intraday support resistance around. Um, I get a short here. It's not valid until this bar here based on my indicator down here that we use for the setup. So I take that short. And then I would, again, just look to the left and see where price was reacting. So in looking at this, 
I would probably look at this general area here. And if you've got the volume profile on your chart, you can um, kind of cheat a little bit and see where the high volume areas are. So this would be my first reaction area around the 1750. Then I would be looking down here around that 12 and a quarter. And then based on the pre-market area, I'd be looking down here around nine. If you're using the market profile, you could see that this nine area um, at this point does fall in line with our um, VWAP area here. So it's always easier to look at a, um, a chart where you can see a little clearer to the left. If you need to look at a five minute chart, then look at a five minute chart. If, um, and this is after the fact, the volume, but as the volume is forming, wherever you've got high concentrations of the volume at price here on the, your volume profile, that's where price is likely to react. So if you have an opening in a volume area, let's say going from, um, let's say you're taking a short, you can generally expect to go from one high volume area to the next high volume area. If you look at a volume profile and it is, you know, completely filled in, then that is telling you that likely you're not going to get a runner and just pay particular attention to where you're getting your setups. And you can see right here um, is the area that I had marked here on that um, one minute chart. So again, looking at a little bit bigger picture can help gauge where you're going to be watching. And then as price progresses throughout the day, you're just going to mark the areas that are created just so you know in a congested area if you're willing to even attempt the trade, right? So that is half the battle. So always just look to the left, see where price last reacted, and then decide if there's enough room to take the trade or you know, ask yourself if you're willing to take the trade um, regardless of the amount of space there is if you know, price can get through it, and then you can just watch the volume um, profile as well and kind of gauge where those um, reaction areas are like to be, likely to be. So I hope you find that helpful, and I will chat with you all later. Take care, you guys.